Hey there, Brian. I hope you're having a good day today. Uh, this is your video lesson. Um, I'm going to go over the, the question you had in the, uh, in, the, in the text you sent over to me. If you have any questions at the end or want me to look at anything, feel free to shoot me a message over and I'll be more than happy to uh, give you my two cents. So, awesome. Let's get to it. So, uh, your question was um, some licks that you can play over top of uh, the Charlie Crockett um, I think cover of a James Hand song, Midnight Run. Um, so, what I did for the last little bit was I was sitting here listening to uh, the song, kind of getting a feel for some of the lead lines that they're doing in their, in their tunes. So these are kind of like a la whoever, what session musician he was playing with that day. Um, and there's a guitar player in there obviously, and then there's like a slide player. So I try to put like some, maybe some electric stuff in there too, and some stuff that would sit nice on the acoustic as well. So uh, cool, we'll get to it. So I'm focusing basically on boxes one and two of E minor pentatonic for these, uh, both down here in the open position, and if you're playing your electric uh, up here at the 12th fret, some nice things that you can do. Um, so, uh, and, and the hand I showed you, like, kind of which box I'm using. So the boxes are these. So E minor box one for an open position would be this. Zero three, zero two, zero two, zero two, zero three, zero three. You should have that one uh, in your notes if you don't, uh, if you don't uh, send the message over, I'll write it out for you. Um, and then you have box two, which is this one here, which is three, five, two, five, two, five, two, four, three, five, three, five, right? So you'll have mileage out of those boxes right there. You can also play those up here at the 12th fret too, at the octave, box one, and then box two. So if you're playing your electric, you can take some of these and bring them up, just make them up an octave basically what you're gonna do. So the first lick I had here is a box two lick. So a nice little hammer on pull off thing that, he, that uh, one of the guys does in the band. Um, so you start here three on the on the second string. Three, uh, three, oh, sorry, sorry. Five. So start with five first, and then a quick hammer on pull off. Three five three, and then land on that B right there on the on the uh, third string fourth fret. A little bit slower. It works at a variety of speeds, so it doesn't have to be fast at all. It can actually be really slow. Or oh, sorry. Or fast. So it's kind of up to you uh, how fast you want to take that one. And all these being be mixed, mixed and matched so you can kind of play around with those. Next look in here, the second one is so in box two, two, four, three, five. So you can put those two together if I wanted to. slower All right next one is a ghost bend uh, lick so I'm here at the 12th fret ghost bend just means I bend the string I pre-bend the string and I think in the in the rock Seekers books he calls it he calls it a pre-bend a pre-bend I think is what he calls it um, I, I've always called it a ghost bend that's what my first teacher called him so that's why I used, him, I used to use that so I pre-bend that string right so I ghost bend it You're gonna to want to practice. Make sure you, that you get up to that, that E. And slow bend down. Hit 15 again on the second string. 12, 14. Or up the octave if you want. Then you have a double stop, a, a double stop lick for the next one. Uh, I'm going into the G major for this briefly for the um, so out of E minor pentatonic. So I'm doing the C and the and the A there. I guess E, e minor. I guess you call it that. E minor. So you slide up from one and two. Make sure your thumb comes along for the ride. Right. Remember, sh the shifts come from the from the shoulder, not from the hand. Next one we have here is box two, it's a bit longer one. Two, four, two, two, four, three, five, pull off the three, four, three, four, two. See a lot of these are based off that, that right there. Box 
box one look up, look up here at the octave. 12, 15, pull off to 12, 14, slide down to 12, and hit it again. I'm trying my best to land on chord tones of either E minor or G major um, with this. The last one's gonna be this one. It's gonna be a double stop from three to five. Back down to three, open, and then two. And that's not resolved right there, that's on the non chord tone. So if I put those over top of a backtrack, this is like a country backtrack, and I couldn't find one for the song. So country ballad, play around with these a little bit. <laughs> cool, so hopefully that gives you some ideas. You can mix and match them, you can fragment them, you can augment the length of them, you can rhythmically augment them or rhythmically give them some diminution, uh, things like that you can do in this tune, so, or these, these looks here. So this is a jumping off point. Um, cool man, uh, I will look forward to seeing you same time next time. Take care.